Today we're going to show you how to use the double flaring tool. So two types of flares. Uh, one of those flares is called the ISO or the bubble flare. All right. Uh, kind of the easiest way to tell the difference is if you look at the back of the flare. So if this is the end of the line, the back of the flare where the flare nut goes, this part is actually flat. All right, so that's the ISO or the bubble flare. The double flare, the one that we're going to do today, if you notice, if this is the end of the brake pipe, the end of it is kind of flared out. So we're using double wall steel pipe, and when we flare this out, rather than going from just a single flare, we're going to do a double flare. And kind of what that means is we're really just going to take the line, kind of going to kind of bend or squish the end of the line down, and then we're going to fold these ears in over itself. So then it's actually doubled. Okay. All right. So as you can see, we're just using a, a standard double flaring kit, one that's pretty common uh, that you can purchase at one of the uh, local parts stores or even rent. Three. All right. The uh, standard uh, double flaring kit. Uh, we're going to flare uh, the end of this brake line. I uh, just wanted to show you real quick. If you watch any of our other videos, I have a video on using a tubing cutter. Um, on this one, I got a little ambitious as far as using the tubing cutter. You can see it actually pinched the end of the line down. And this one uh, kind of took my time and uh, kind of made this look really good. So uh, this is nice and square, and we have no problem of getting the forming die down in the end of the line. Okay, so I have this set up in a vise that just makes life a lot easier. Okay, so I'm just going to swing this around. Um, I'm using 3 16 line, so obviously I'm going to kind of match that up with uh, whatever part of the tool I need to use. Now, the instructions say, and on most of your double flaring kits, you're going to take the forming die and it has a shoulder on it. So you're going to run the brake line up to that first shoulder. So that's how far it's going to protrude out of the tool. Okay. All right, so I got that set up. Now, here's the part that they don't tell you. All right, which one of these do I tighten first? If you notice, if I tighten the one closer to the line, okay, I'm going to crank that one down pretty good, okay? Then as I tighten the other one, you can see the tool is actually going to bend, and that's really going to put a lot of clamping pressure on this brake line. That way, the brake line doesn't get shoved down through the tool. Okay, so you can see we're really clamping down on that line. If I did this opposite, you can kind of think of this as like a lever. If I tighten this one down first and then tighten this one, it doesn't give much room or much leverage to really clamp down around that brake pipe. Oh, here we go. Okay, so those are uh, both good and tight. First thing I'm going to do, uh, once we have it in there, is we're going to make sure, again, our forming die fits in there. So... Just to show you the one that uh, was kind of uh, done in a hurry, you can see the forming die won't even fit down in there. Okay, and so this one, I would cut this off and be a little nicer to the line when I cut it with my tubing cutter. You could ream that out, but again, you kind of deform the end of the line. Okay, so I'm gonna put this in there, make sure that fits. Okay, and then we're gonna take the other part of the tool and we're gonna slide this over it. Okay, make sure this is loose enough. Okay, so there's our forming die down in the tool. We're gonna slide this part of the tool over. crank this down until the forming die becomes flat with the surface of the tool. All right, so the forming die is flat with the surface of the tool. How do I know that? Obviously, I can see it. Also, I noticed that this got really tight. Okay, so we'll back this off and then remove the forming die. And again, what it's done to the end of the line, it's taken the line and kind of crushed it down a little bit. Now we're going to go back with the cone and we're going to flatten it. So again, we just got rid of the forming die. The cone is already part of the tool. All right, so make sure the cone centers up with the center of the brake line there. Make that snug. Okay, and we'll crank this down a little bit. All right, and that's nice and snug. Okay. 
All right, we'll loosen our tool, pull our brake pipe out, and let's see how we did. And you can see there we have a double flare. All right, and that one actually looks pretty good. And you can see is kind of the bite marks on the end of the line. So that tells me that the tool really cranked down or clamped down on this brake pipe. So we didn't have any slippage or it didn't slip down in the tool when we were actually forming the flare. All right, so that one's ready to go. And as always, thanks for watching our videos. Check out our other videos and we will see you next time.